welcome in video where you can see how to work with templates for this example we use Cinematic PC Station and WinCC RT Advanced for creating templates you want to go to screen management options and click on the templates and you can create templates by click by click on add new template okay this is the template screen it's something like static screen which you can use as a background as a static background on your creative screens we rename this screen for example main template In this example, we create template with some clocks and date, with some logo and uh, basic button menu. First, we insert some background graphic. Here we have some pictures. First, we insert logo, Ch change the size of the logo, for example, 150 white and 105 height, and change position x to 0. OK. And now we insert background picture. Okay, and move this picture to backward. Okay. We, you can use some elements. For example, we use daytime field and some button. We make daytime fields a little bit bigger for example 25 pixels will be font of the text and alignment will be centered the alignment to the right and to the top of the background and buttons we use for the changing the screen it's something like basic menu white for example 150 same like logo and height for example 60 alignment this button to the left and copy this button yep. copy was wrong I don't know paste for example we create five buttons first button we use for for example go to the main screen The text of the button will be main Second button will be for example diagnostic Third settings 
up settings next button alarms last button we use for stopping runtime for this button we can create event where after releasing of this button we stop the runtime we use stop runtime function okay now we create main template. You can also use more templates. For example, we create another template as pattern. We use main template, but on the second template, for example, alarm template. We don't use buttons. <coughs> this will be template for alarm screen where we use alarm view on the this in this area. For this we don't wanna menu button for returning to the main screen we use for example another button with name go to main Okay, <clears throat> now we can create some screens. Okay, we want to make one, two, three, four, four screens. Paste, paste, paste. Paste. First screen will be main. Second screen will be diagnostic. Third settings. And fourth will the alarms. <clears throat> we click on the main screen. Now, uh, for now, this is screen without template. We insert template for the screen by clicking on properties of the screen, and in general property, you have template. Here we use main template. Now you can see it's <clears throat> static background, also known as template. Same we do for diagnostic. And settings. For alarm screen, we use alarm template. Save. We go back to the arm screen. As we can see, there is no same template like, for example, in settings screen. In arm screen, we don't have 
menu, but we have go to main button. Okay, we insert here alarm view. This is uh, why we use another template for alarm screen because we want a bigger alarm view. Okay, now we go back to the alarm template and create event for, for this button where after releasing of this button we activate screen number one main screen also we make events for menu buttons in main template after realizing button main we activate screen number one main okay we can copy this event paste to the diagnostic button but we change screen name to number two diagnostic same for settings screen name number three settings and for arm button activate screen number four arms Also, we insert here some label for the label for the screen. Our main screen will be main screen text. We make it a little bit bigger. Text format, for example. 60 pixels, okay. <clears throat> also on the diagnostic screen. Only we just change the text. Same in settings. And the last alarm screen. Okay, now we can try if changes works fine. For this we use start runtime on the PC. Okay, this is the main screen because it's defined as start screen. When you click on the diagnostic screen, you go to the diagnostic screen and you still have same template. Also in settings, but in alarm screen, you have another template without button menu. When you go want to go back, you click on the go to main okay and for the stopping runtime you click on the stop runtime thank you for watching this video where you see how to work create and use templates in tia portal thank you goodbye